Oh my gosh, I know. I can't wait to make a halter top. Summer is here, it is getting hot outside, so we're gonna make a cool halter top bathing suit and it ties up the back. So cool. So let's get into it. The first thing you need to do is download your pattern from SoAnastasia.com. Got a halter top pattern here for you. Super easy to print out on your home printer. It's only three pages. And we've got it in sizes extra small through 2X. Next, you need to cut out your paper pattern and then you need to cut out your fabric pieces. And make sure you're using a four-way stretch spandex if you're using this as a swim top. But you could also use a t-shirt fabric and just make this into a cute halter top to wear with your jeans. So basically, as long as your fabric has a stretch to it, you'll be good. When you have all of your fabric pieces cut out, they should look something like this. So I've got my two top pieces, one for the inside, one for the outside. I've got my two straps, and I've also got enough elastic for my straps as well. And by enough elastic, I mean you're gonna need four yards of elastic. We're gonna need it for our straps and around the edges of our halter top. Now that we're all prepped, let's get into sewing this top together. It is gonna come together really quick and I bet this might be your new favorite summer top. The first thing we're going to work on are going to be the straps. So we're going to take the straps and we're gonna place them right sides together. And then we're going to take the piece of elastic and we are going to sew it to the strap all at the same time. So I'm going to be serging mine together. If you don't have a serger, you can also use a broken zigzag stitch or a regular zigzag stitch. Just do not use a straight stitch because it'll pop and fall apart. Let's go sew these up. So I have my strap folded right sides together and I have the elastic at the edge here. So when I serge this on, I wanna make sure that both of the needles are catching the elastic. So we are going to serge the elastic to this little strip of fabric here. And it can be tricky to keep this lined up. So if you want help with this on your serger, you can always buy an elastic attaching foot as well. And you're gonna wanna do the exact same thing to your other long piece of fabric. So your strap should look something like this. We've got the elastic on the edge of the fabric and I've sewn it to the tube with the serger. And if you don't have a serger, you would have just zigzagged this on and it should work the same way. This can be a little tricky to master, but I know you can do it with a little practice. And if you want even more help with your serger on attaching the elastic, make sure you watch the video on the elastic guide foot because this is going to help you guide the elastic onto the fabric and it's just gonna keep it nice and straight and it's gonna help you out. It's a nice little extra tool to have for your serger. Now we've got some straps and now we need to turn them right side out. So today I'm going to be doing this with a safety pin, but you can also do it with a tube turner if you've got one of these. So we're gonna put the safety pin through one end of the strap. We're gonna take the head of the safety pin and put it into the tube. And now we are just going to push it and pull it. And it's really important to get the end started before you keep pushing. So make sure that the end is flipping in. We need that elastic to start going in on itself. And once you get that happening, it should be pretty easy. So push it and then pull the tube down. So scrunch it up on the safety pin, stop and pull it down. And before you know it, you will have your tube turned right side out. There we go. Look at how beautiful this bathing suit strap looks. It stretches beautifully. It comes right back and does not pop or snap. So just do the same thing to your other strap. We now have bathing suit ties. Isn't this cool? You can now make bathing suit ties. It was so easy, wasn't it? The next step is cutting the little loops for the back of the halter. What we're gonna do is cut three two inch strips off of each tie. So make sure you don't take them all off the same tie. So just use a ruler and make sure you're cutting three two inch strips, okay? So now I'm gonna move over to the other one. Okay, so now you should have six little two inch pieces and two ties. Now it's time to put our little loops on. To attach the loops, we're going to fold them in half, but don't fold them directly on top of each other. We're going to space them out so that the pieces of elastic are right next to each other when we sew them on. And you wanna make sure that at the top, you're staying three eighths of an inch away from the slanted edge. And then when we sew it onto the bottom, we're staying three eighths of an inch away from the bottom edge because we need to leave seam allowance here to finish it later on. So we're gonna put a loop at the bottom. 
we're gonna put a loop at the top and we're gonna put one in the middle. So let's head over to the sewing machine and base these down on both sides. Okay, so I'm gonna base this down so I'm not gonna backstitch. This is really thick, so it can be a little tricky getting through. You might need to push it a little. You might need to lift up your foot, readjust it a little, make sure it's moving. And now I'm gonna take the other end and line it up with the edge. So we're creating this loop towards the inside of the project here, towards the halter top. And now I want to sew over that one. Sometimes I will take an awl or a pencil or something, sometimes just to keep it in place because it's so small, just make sure it's not moving on you. Again, if you need to lift up the foot, it's okay. This stuff likes to move around a lot. Get to the end and cut, and we're gonna place the next one. So it should look something like that once you've got it on there. Okay, so I have both of the raw edges of the loop lined up with the edge of the fabric, and we're going to sew these right down with our basting stitch so they stay in place for later. These things love to move around. It's okay if they move around on you. Just clip it and start again where you left off. And you're gonna to wanna to do the exact same thing to the other side. So we have our loop sewn down and yours should look something like this. So that way the curved part of the loop is on the inside of the project and all the raw edges are over here. Our top is almost finished. It is now time to sew the lining to our self fabric and we're going to attach a little bit of elastic in the process of it. So we're going to place our lining on top of the right side of our bathing suit fabric and we're going to serge all the way around basically. but. We need to make sure we sew some elastic on, on the angled parts here. And when we sew it, we're gonna stretch it just a little bit, not a ton, but we need to stretch this just a little bit while we sew it on. Same thing for the bottom too. We're gonna put some elastic down here. We're gonna stretch it just a little bit when we serge it on. So that way we have a nice snug fitting bathing suit and no gaps anywhere. And we're gonna have to choose a spot to leave an opening so we can flip this right side out. I generally like to do it on the bottom, so I'm gonna leave a little one and a half inch opening on the bottom of the bathing suit to turn it right side out. And again, if you don't have a serger, you can use a zigzag or a broken zigzag for the step. Again, you wanna stretch this elastic, but just a little bit, just like a little half inch stretch for every few inches. When you get to the corner, I just want you to serge all the way off. Your elastic should be nice and attached, and you should be sewing your elastic to the print side of your fabric, not your lining side. Make sure you've caught both sides in there. And now we're gonna sew over the loops here. We're not gonna put any elastic there. Make sure your loops are inside here. So we're sandwiching everything inside. They move on you a bit, go ahead, stop, readjust them, lift up your foot, whatever you need to do to keep them nice and straight. Now we're moving on to the bottom where we are also going to place elastic. Getting this started can be a little bit tricky, so just make sure your needles are catching the elastic when you start. You can always lift up your foot a little bit, Move your hand wheel, always pull it towards you and make sure it's in the elastic. Remember, you wanna pull this just a little bit. So now because I'm leaving an opening here, I'm actually gonna surge off and then I'm gonna come back and surge back on about an inch and a half down. Place it in there and now we're back on track. We're gonna come all the way to the end and surge off. Now we have one more side of loops. We've got one more side of elastic and then the neck and we're done. So before we sew the neck shut, we need to get our straps inside the neck right at these points. So we're gonna go take those really long straps and we're gonna put them inside of the halter top. So to put these straps in, we are gonna do one at a time. So we're gonna take one strap and we're gonna put all of it inside of the bathing suit. We need to keep out one end though. So find an end and we are going to just line it up here with 
the elastic in the seam. We're gonna sandwich it in there. And we need to make sure that that stays right there while we are serging. So you can make a little pop out even if you want, just to make sure you are catching that. And then go ahead and clip it. There we go. You can see we've got that strap clipped in there. And now we're going to insert the other strap. And we're going to line this one up as well with the elastic on the side of the halter top, sandwiching it right in between the layers. You can have a little popping out to make sure you are actually catching it in there. And we're also going to clip that one. So now you have both of the straps sandwiched in at the top of the neck on the halter top. And now we're ready to sew that together. Look at this, we are ready to turn it right side out and check it out. Now find the opening that you left and turn your top right side up. We are looking so good, you guys. We made a bathing suit halter top, but we have one last step. So we're gonna hand stitch up this little opening and then we're gonna try it on. If you guys need help on hand sewing, make sure you check out my video on that. We're all done, let's try it on. Check it out, we finished it. It is looking so good, it is so smooth everywhere. We've got our ties coming out of the little tops there at the corner and we've got all of our beautiful lacing on the back. So the ties come out of the front and then they just crisscross back and forth until it's fully tied up. I love the back. I just love the crisscross design. It's just so fun. And this looks great on a casual fabric too, like a t-shirt fabric that you can wear with your jeans or use that swimsuit fabric and make it into a swimsuit. And this pattern works great for casual fabrics too. You could use t-shirt fabric, you could upcycle a t-shirt with this pattern, or you can use the bathing suit fabric and make it into a bathing suit. This pattern has so much potential for your summertime fun. Thanks so much for watching Sewing Anastasia today. I hope you had fun making a halter top bathing suit or a top with me. If you have any questions about it, leave it down below and I will get back with you as soon as I can. As always, make sure you give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below. I would love to know what other projects you guys would like to see in the future. And if you're not already a subscriber, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, all the social media. And check out my classes at SewAnastasia.com. And don't forget, you can download this pattern at SewAnastasia.com, extra small through 2X. And I designed it. How cool is that? Thanks so much for watching. Bye.